What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today I'm gonna to do another Applejack cocktail for you because as I told you before, and as you know from the, the spirited talk we did earlier this month, it is National Applejack Month. October is National Applejack Month and I've done a pretty bad job about giving you guys Applejack cocktails. And I will also say that some people have been asking me for Applejack cocktails, so I'm gonna do some more. Today we are gonna do an awesome drink called a Bronco Buster, which was first published in Ted Saucier's 1951 book, Bottoms Up. Uh, it is what is known as a harvest cocktail. So typically um, cocktails that are made with rye and Applejack are called har harvest cocktails. And I'm just assuming that's because apples are usually harvested in the fall and grains such as rye are usually harvested in the fall um, and it's fall flavors. So this is a harvest cocktail. All right, first thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice followed up by three quarters of an ounce of dry curacao. We're using the Pierre Ferrand today. And then, luckily today, I wanted to knock this up a little bit, so we're using 100 proof. So we're using the uh, Laird's 100 proof Applejack. And then, because we're using 100 proof Applejack, we gotta balance it out with 100 proof rye. So I'm using Rittenhouse rye, which is one of my very favorites. Do one ounce of that. And then we're just going to add our ice into the big tin. And then we're going to add our cocktail as well. Lock our tins and shake. And we are gonna double strain to get the pieces out. And as you can tell, I pre-prepped my glass with a rock of ice. I like to let it temper a little bit. And this is just a, this is just a, a, an appearance thing, but you know, honestly, it's like an aesthetics thing, but honestly, um, if you let it temper, then the ice won't crack when you pour the cocktail over it. If it's straight from the freezer, it will crack. And I just don't like a cracked, a cracked drink. So I don't like a cracked cocktail. A crack drink, crack cocktail. I don't like a cracked piece of ice because it doesn't look good in your cocktail. That's what I meant to say. But you knew that's what I meant to say. And then last but not least, we are going to be putting a orange twist over it. And there you have it, my friends. Ted Saucier's Bronco Buster. I actually don't know if it's Ted Saucier's. It was published by him in his book, but I'm not sure if he created it. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But let's take a taste and see what it tastes like. Get this hair out of my way. Well, you get that fall flavor. It's, you get that nice savory sort of apple, followed up by the spiciness of the rye, which is pretty strong because I used 100 proof, but it's also kind of strong because this is a variation on a daisy, which is uh, a drink that we did in the past, and you could definitely take a look at that video. But it's a drink that doesn't have any simple syrup in it, so this is going to be very dry and boozy. You get and very tart from this, from the juice, from the the lemon juice. So what you do is you have this like really tart on the front. You have a little bit of the orange. Well, you have a lot of bit of the orange. You have a little bit of that like boozy orange from the curacao, but then you have the fresh orange on top. Obviously, you get that nice acidic, you know very tart kind of pop from the lemon and then followed up on the back palate. All right, finishing off with that rye and apple um, kind of uh, mix that you have. Uh, it's a great cocktail. It is definitely for those of you that are gonna like a, dire, a drier drink uh, that is a little bit less sweet. It's gonna, this is gonna be very dry and very boozy. And there you have it, my friends, the Bronco Buster.